would make a father post a pornographic video of himself in social media. That's what some are accusing Dancehall Beast of doing. Beast will be here to address. Who is the artist that some are saying has the biggest dancehall song in the space right now? He'll be here. When he came to our stage last year, M16 from he described his career as in the baby stages. What brings him back to our stage a year later? Unchangeable. He will tell us. And the 13 year old who will be going back to school with her first music video as a recording artist. Let's work together. All coming up right here on our stage, including lots of great music you don't want to miss. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. So ring the alarm, cause Babylon be falling. Whoa, yeah. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Now, as students head back to school, they will no doubt be sharing stories of their summer exploits with their fellow students. But for one 13-year-old Arden student, her story will include her very first music video as a recording artist. Believe it or not, her name is Simona Sori. And she's right now, right here, on our stage. Simona. Welcome. Good to have you. Pleasure to be here. Okay, so what can you tell us about your summer? What did you do? Yes, I was performing at other shows. Mm -hmm. um, um, the NCB Scholarship Award Ceremony. Um, and I performed at Denby this year as well. You were a big performer during the summer. You made many appearances. Yes. Wow. Are, are you a celebrity at school now? Um, of sort? Not really, but people, uh, everybody, mm. they know me as a singer because whenever the school has events, they always ask me to sing. Okay. So, so you, your fellow students, they know you as the big voice, Simona. Yes. Okay, all right. So um, how do you think they will feel about your music video, first music video coming? Um, you're coming back to school with one under your belt. We're about to release it now, so it's about, it's, it's back to school video in a sense, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, I think they will feel happy about it because of what the song speaks about. Mm -hmm. Love and harmony and peace among one another. Mm -hmm. So it's telling us that we shouldn't fight and we shouldn't quarrel. We should just have peace all around us and Enjoy our time as we live. Those who don't know you are, are, imp are getting impatient right now. They want to hear your voice. Let's do that. Let's, let's ease, the, ease that from, from the whole thing now. Let's go. Creation. Cause war and crime won't change our situation Do care and equality And love for humanity Stop the hatred and stop the good Let's live in love, that's the
Love and harmony. The question now coming from a 13-year-old. Wow, what a question. What a voice. Congrats. Thank you. Wow. That's, that's just so wonderful. Um, such vocal power with, with innocence. Thank you. Oh my, I, I commend you. That's, that's powerful. So this, this video is a, is a record, right, that's out there. It's out, you're getting played on radio and so on, yes. record? Yes, um, it's been played on RFM on Sundays. Okay. Sunday, yes. Nice. Apart from Jamaica, you've performed overseas, I yes. understand, in the Caribbean. Yes. And uh, talk about that for us. Um, I've performed with Artura Tapping. Mm -hmm. I've performed in St. Kitts, Guyana, and St. Lucia at oh. their jazz festivals. Wow. Yes. Those two jazz festivals. And how were you received? Um. Come on. It must have been good. Must have been well. Yes. Well received, would you say? Yes, it was awesome. It was, it was, there were great shows. It mm -hmm. was very great. Okay, so you're, uh, all right. So aren't you now going to be challenged to, to balance schoolwork with music? Yes, it's, it's not really like, okay, yes, it's a challenge. Um, I have to try mm -hmm. and balance both of them because it's my career on one hand and my schoolwork on the next hand. Mm -hmm. So I have to find time for both so I can manage them at once. So you said a career. So it, it's a serious, it's, you're serious about serious. a career in music. Yes. Okay, nice. So, so you're, but how far are you willing to go in school? before you go full-time in the career? Um, I am planning to finish school at Arden, mm -hmm. up to grade 13, and then I see I will maybe do university overseas. Yes. And then from there, I'll know what to do with my career. Okay. Talk about um, the song now. Who is the writer of the song? My mother is the writer. Your the mother? Yes. She oh. wrote it when I was two years old. When you were two? Yes. She wrote it for you when you were two? Um, I don't, I'm not sure if she wrote it for me, but she, she's a singer. She, okay. she sings and so does my family because my father is a musician and my yes. mother sings and the rest of my family. Oh, so it's in your DNA. Yes. Nice. So this is mommy's song. You're, you're delivering like it's yours. <laughs> wow. And you've done such justice to this song. Yes. So your father is involved, your mom is involved in your career, yes. grooming and producing. So, and the video is, make, is made in a family too? It's a family video, but you have a director <laughs> in the family. No. No? Um, the video director is Arif Butler. Yes. Yes. And the producer of the song is Handel Tucker. Okay. Oh, so you went out of the family yes. for the pro production. I see. Um, so that's your team at the moment? Yes. Is there, so mommy is your manager for the time being? Yes. But and she will, well, she, as a musician, she'll probably be able to manage you. She calls herself my momager. <laughs> momager. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Well, you know, Simona, um, we're going to leave it here and, and, and say and thank you for coming and hope that we'll be calling you back to our stage very soon to perform live for us. I hope that I would too. love to have you live in this, on this platform sometime soon. So, what good? All the very best. Thank you. And a very, very big new year at school for you. Thank you. All right. A talent that will definitely be in your ears and in your face, Simona. All right, stay with us. Still to come, Marvin the Beast answers questions about his latest actions in social media. When he made our stage last year, he described his career as being in the baby stage. What brings him back one year later? He'll be here to tell us, and we won't tell you who that is. But first, the artist who is said to have the biggest dancehall song in the space right now. After the break. She not like a dance.
Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Now, Idonia has emerged the artist of the summer, largely due to his summer anthem. Yeah, 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 yeah. But hot on the heels of Yeah, Yeah, Yeah is a trap by an upcoming artist that seems to be getting a lot of attention in the space right now. That me get trapped between two girls, see. And in some corners being called the biggest dancehall song of the moment. The artist behind the track is called Lance. Our very special guest right now, right here on stage. Lance, yeah, welcome sir, good to have you. So, is this love that you're getting, um, this natural, organic love you're getting out there, or...? Yeah, man, natural love, organic love. For the song? For the song, for my personality, for everything. Everybody will hear the song, them just... Yes. Well, I'm sending it to them phone instantly. Yes? You know? Yeah. So, it was expected. Did you feel this energy coming when it was finished? Yeah. When the song was finished and ready for release? Yeah, even before it was finished, because mm -hmm. when I do a song, I have this excited feeling. That song there is always a proper song. Okay, like, so you've, you know? you've hit before as big as this? All right, um, as a producer. Yes. I was the, the engineer, I built the rhythm for the hit single, Yes and Nice by Potential Kid. Okay. Yeah. So um, you, oh, so you see, that's a part of it that I wasn't aware of. You're a producer. Yes, I'm also a producer. So you, you know, so you can pick up some, when something has the potential to run away, you can tell, you yeah. can tell before. Yeah, man, definitely. And you felt that for this particular one, with yeah. you voicing. Yeah, with me, with my voice this time. So you are, there are no surprise? No surprises well, about how this is doing? Well, not really, I wouldn't say that. No, we just do a whole heap of music we do, you know? And it's been our dream. Yes. And we believe in our dream. So when it comes, we're not going to get frightened. Okay. So it's not really surprised that much. All right, Lance, let's go to the, the song, right? Running man, February, dog, and the black one born in April. So the two of them will fight for me, buddy. Dog, so the two of them jealous gone to hell. Ashina Legoda, Ashina Legonaida. Sheena Lego Naida Sheena Lego Alright Sheena Lego is the title and the, from new artist Lance Alright Lance, so this is the big track mm -hmm. yeah. And what, what has it done for you so far? Well, this song has given me rec recognition as an artist and not just a producer no? Yes you know? Yeah, this song Just recognition? It seems no. to me that when it's played anywhere, the whole place are burn up. Isn't yeah. that what's happening right now? Yeah, man. So you just so uh, why are you so humble with it? You, well, you, I'm always humble. Whenever the I humility finish. is striking. Yeah. 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 Okay. So it a burn up the place, from what I understand. My research shows that it a burn up things, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. why you're here. Yeah. So 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 it's it's your breakout then, as yeah. a recording artist. Yeah. That's but exactly not your first recording. Too. No, not my first recording. Okay. Uh, in terms of, as an artist, now I know. Yeah. As an artist. Okay, so where has it put your career? Well, on the rise in now where people are look out for, 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 for something else from me, so I'm going to have to struggle to get a next song out. Yes. That much right now, you know? So once you say Lance, once Lance is in the title as, yeah. as the artist, people are going to want to be interested in it you think now so yeah. you so you're it is an official you are now officially a break breakout breakthrough artist would you say yeah i would say that and still working towards greater dreams same way and what are some of those dreams well becoming one of the greatest artists and producer internationally but not just locally so you will continue to produce rec yeah. uh, records yourself yeah, and definitely. others yeah because we work with a lot of young artists as well mm -hmm. and you know other artists all right let's talk a little bit about your background now um where you where were you born and raised I was born in mandeville mm -hmm. you know, raised in mandeville um i've been in trench zone over what, eight years now okay uh, doing my music and thing you got the trench town music bug i take it is it 
Well, I didn't have the birthplace of the music. <laughs> yeah, I yeah? have my talent before still, because going to Homo Technical, um, I used to skull school, mm-hmm. come at Trench Town, I saw me reach at Trench Town, you know, because I used to build my little ready, man. The music dry out and yeah, bring you into Kingston? Yeah, skull school, weekend time, you know. Okay. Every Friday, I skull school, and there at Trench Town, I work with potential kids and things, you know, so. Yeah, that's how I reach a trench town, really. And same. Film, uh, well, you film wouldn't race. encourage youngsters in school to do the same, would you? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't at Why all. not? Because, all right, here we go now. My thing is, I love to go back to school, further my education, mm-hmm. you know? Oh. You know, so I have that, even though I know I have the musical talent and thing. But, you know, things get hard sometimes. And sometimes you don't have to push out your music and you don't have the funds to do it. So sometimes I pray, say, oh, but I'm just, Go on to school and just get a proper job. Pick up a job? Yeah, you know, so okay. even though I go on to my music, I can have a money for push my thing, because you don't know you have to have a funds to push your thing. Mm-hmm. And you good. will need the education to move forward. Yeah. To definitely. go after the world as, a, as an independent producer, artist, entrepreneur. entrepreneur yeah. That education will pay off, my friend. Yeah, so definitely. that's the message you want to also give to the youngsters that you took a chance. Yeah. An extreme chance, I would say, to leave school to come to Trench to do music and not knowing where it's going to take you. Yeah. It's a, an extreme move, but it seems to be paying off right now. Yeah, it's paying off, but, but it is not encouraged. The youth, them say, do that. You don't Finish want to encourage thing, kids you know? to do that. Yeah. Great, because you know, in this back to school moment, we don't want you now to start walking around and say, I'm an artist, I'm not about that in school. You know what I mean? Yeah, for real. Anyway, so talk about your siblings and your parents and those things. You're the wider family? Yeah. Um, I was the last boy. Mm-hmm. My mom had uh, five kids. One died, four leave now. So I have a little sister. My big sister died. Okay. Um, we got my big brother Jason, big brother Omar too. You know, little sister in America, Abigail. My mom is Marcia Francis. We got my mother, my mother. Mm-hmm. Even though she's a Christian, she support me. You know, my okay. father, the same. He might not tell me same I support me, but him support me because he's not a man who is talkative, you know, and he must, he must a Christian, so, yeah. Okay, you're just, no, it sounds like you're hoping. Yeah, man, he's supporting. That he's supporting you, all right. Okay, I'm going tell you, but you know, he's supporting you. Okay, good daddy. Maybe you should come forward now, daddy. I'm like, maybe it will give him the extra push and stay. I'll make him stay a boss. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, are you concerned about being a one-hit wonder? Any concern there? Well, no, you know. You're not even focused on that at all? No, I'm not focused on that. Because even before this song, people always love my songs, the songs I had before. OK. You know? But, you know, this one, I have a little thing where, where the streets love some more and thing. You know, a lifestyle, a people lifestyle this. Yes. And people love them, they mix up something there. So, so. What, is, what is unreleased in your work now, in your body of work? What are we to look forward to? I look forward to great achievements um, produced by Kid Mac. That's a single? You know? Yeah, that will, be, um, that will be released on the 8th of September. OK. Yeah. So great achievement. We have um, Romantic to be released soon, just by something on Triton Rhythm mm-hmm. called No Enemy, by something for Friends For Real, that one named Some Girls, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, we have a lot of things coming up. You're doing stage yet? Yeah, we're doing stage and we're not doing much right right now, but it looked bright. The December looked good. So looked what happened when you take thing. when you take to a stage? Well, I'm normally shy, you know, but from a touch of stage I me mean, that yeah. like that shy something they go on somewhere else, you know. So you just do my thing on stage, I'm okay. just get comfortable. All right. So are you a dance hall artist officially or uh, or or there is more to you? I do everything. Dance all, if I have to do the rock music, I can make it and do it. Anything I give me for do, I can do. Lance! Yeah, man. All right, Pleasure sir. Being here. When next we see you, we hope we're talking about a, a, a string of achievements in music. Yeah, and, man, definitely. And uh, global accomplishments, you know, in, in terms of the, the work overall. All right, all right sure. sir. Well, good. Thanks for coming and sharing with us right here on our stage. All right, still to come right here on stage, what would make a father post a porn video of himself in social media? That's what some are accusing Marvin, the dancing beast, of doing. He'll be here to address. 
And when he made our stage about a year ago, he described his career as being in the baby stage. Where is it now? He'll be here to tell us. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. We are clean and fresh. fresh, fresh, fresh. Like it's winter. M&M. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. The last time we spoke, he said his career was in the baby stages. Where is this new Roots rocker one year later? Jay Island, yeah. Jay Island joins us right now, right here on our stage with the answer to that question. Jay, blessed love, sir. Good to have you. Yes, my pleasure. So the answer really is not just you're coming and we ask you. We know what the answer is. Yeah. And it's queued up to be played in a moment. Yes, but first, tell us what happened since, otherwise, from this big project that we're about to drop. Well, you know, since we had an interview, you know, I, I went to England, I did a song with Cadenza. Yes. And it was featured Georgia Smith. Yes. And Jerry Island. I went to shoot that video, you know, and that song, you know, did, did well. Made a mark on Spotify over two mil in a month. Two million in a people. month. Wow. Cadenza feature in Georgia Smith and Joy Island. Mm -hmm. You know, the video is out, but I don't know why, but it's it's it, I think it's because of some sample that it's not been freed up to play it in our region. Okay, so it's you know? more on the European side? Yeah, on the European uh, side. And was released in the UK? Yeah, it was released in the UK. Yes. And and you know, I've been in studio working on ever since after that working on my album. Yes. Not my album, but my, it's a, I, I would call it not an EP. I don't want to use that title. Mm. So I titled it Project No I Rise. Okay. So, so it's a playlist. Yes. It's a project. It's my project. Why are you, why are you staying away from, from EP? Because, you know, you know, one say, not one say, an EP is actually a short play. Yes. You know, so it's limited songs. Mm -hmm. You know, three to four songs, maybe five the most. You know, and for me, one's been asking, my fans, my people been asking me for songs. Oh, okay. We need a gotcha. song, we need a playlist, we need a project from you, you know, we need something. But I don't want it to be my debut album, you know. Okay, you're not calling it an album, nor no. is it a, and it's more than an EP. Yes, it's more than an EP. So you're saying a project. Yes. So you want to give them a playlist. You, a you're playlist. right, a playlist, something yes. to to absorb and, and not and not a mixtape either. You not don't want to use that tape. term either. No. Because you know I mean it's coming to the winter, you know, one's going to be indoor, you know. Okay. Something on the record spinning, you know, for your That's family. fantastic. That you're because that means that you're going out there and just let your fans enjoy your music and know you more. Yes. That's and it. and and so on. So so who know you now? Well, the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, the world knows Jay Island, you know. It's not just the island mm. that knows Jay Island, but the world, you know. And, and growth, I'm no longer a baby, you know. Yes, the baby so step is over, stop. yeah. Yeah, man, we start walking and run now, you know, and I make moves. Oh, you know, and do you, do you get to tour with the other members of the Neo Roots group that we talk about, the Chronics and those guys? Are you rolling? I haven't toured since last year because as I say I sit out you know mm -hmm. tour because I wanted to take the time out mm -hmm. to go and grow Dre Island from that baby <laughs> stage. Grow Dre Island. Yeah, to, to, to this girl. That sounds you know. like a record. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lyric. Yeah. Nice, yeah. So it's that's where you are now. Well let's let's do this project right now. Let's drop it and then we talk uh, talk on the other side. Let's go. We ain't giving up no we put up a Pray, what a song. Dry Island featuring Popcorn. Yeah, big up Popcorn Street. Wow, Regging. That song, yeah. yeah that song, yeah, Regging. It's real. It's powerful. It's, it's real, man. It's the first single from the project, too, you know? Oh, wow. This is a big song. I'm going to give thanks. When, when an artist is not being heard and not 
you know, all over the place, and then them come back with this, yo, it, it's worth the weight loss. Let's give thanks. And that's, this is a like, big song. I was this, hoping to hear that it's worth the weight. <laughs> yes, man, it's worth it. Because, thanks. yo, some big songs are dropping up. We see, we see the, the Marley's, Stephen and Juna Gang, them chronics, yeah. chronologies loaded. Yeah. loaded. Stony you Hill. Know, we have to big up all the albums that we have dropped. Wow. Um, chronics, my brother. You know, Damien Marley, you know, and I mentor them. And, you know, just right, I'm the next brother, I put out theme album. Yeah. You know? And this is walking down that street, Redrin, yes, when, when we're talking about big songs and big qualities. Sorry that it's not my debut album. Yes. But, you know, it's wow. a project that once. And when you mix love. this into what's going on with the Marleys and the Stony Hill, now, the playlist of DJs in Jamaica, in particular, Red Drink should be loaded with this. Great music. This, yeah. them, them records there can change the, some of the issues we're having in this country. Yes. The crime issues and things. Just beat them. And that's what it's really attacking, you know, you know in a simple way, because it's not yes. to be, you know, um, it's, it's not ignorance to fight ignorance, and it's not why to fight why. That's yes. have love. That's all we have. We need to rediscover the concept of one love and Jamaica's music. Yes, I. Not just the one song that Bob did, but everything that came out. A of universal it. thing, you know. Absolutely, one the one love, and it's it's really heartening to see youngsters like you, Bedrick, take it on and bring it to this level. And I'm saying to to DJs everywhere, radio stations should be playing these records, yours. Tons, 18 tracks on, the, on, on Stony Hill from, yeah, uh, from, yeah, yeah. from Junior Gang. Yeah. Chronics, 15, 16, 16 tracks. tracks. Everything good. Yeah, man. Everything Production can be nice. played anywhere, anytime. It's a great atmosphere for I and I in the music right now. No, it's, it's, we it we need boy, to boy. tell them because yeah, we man. don't know yet, better know that the, the whole thing's changing. Serious. And, and, and it's just for Jamaica is talented. And we have a lot of artistic ones here. Yes. You know, so you just want to respect the craft, you know, and spend time, you know, and mold yourself and grow. Don't rush it. Why yeah. rush and then lose breath? You know, at, at, in 15 minutes down, 15 years, 10 years down the road, when it can last for 50 years, you know? Yeah, man, you have to just focus and respect your craft and know that all you have in this lifetime, all the rest of the fine is the herbs and music. Yes. Yeah. And I like the, the collaboration with Popcorn, Big Dance Popcorn, All Youth, yeah. Poppy, yeah. Is, is part of that. And, and not just what, he, he, what he's doing with hip hop yeah. and some of the, the other mainstream acts, but coming home and, and, and collaborating with the new roots. He's connecting yeah. with the root of Jamaica's music. And, and as, as Stephen said, you know, if you don't remember the you, if you don't water the roots, <laughs> you know, the tree can't grow, the tree can't grow yeah. Reggie. Yeah, we have to big up Popcorn again, because Popcorn is maroon, you know. Yes. Enough to know, you know, you see that youth is a, is a spiritual youth. Yeah, because you see this track for him, it was so easy for him. He was actually leaving after yeah. voicing five songs in the studio that day. And I said, yo, brother, we pray for project. And the man said, yo, Dre Island. All right. And walk back into the studio where by Budge Studio and Reddish Road. And walk back in the studio and... The man listened to the song one time, and the man said, yo, brother, this song big without me in the blood to tell you the truth. Yeah. Know? It's really, you know. And the man walked by in the boat, and he never spent half an hour inside the boat. And gave you this. This. There we go. That's, it's, 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 it's just, as you say, the song is powerful and real. Yeah. It's what's happening now, you know, in the atmosphere. Yeah, they should play these songs. They should play this song. This song is, is already... And it's not just no to, you know, it's, it's a lifetime because mm -hmm. you listen to this song. Oh, yeah. It's like, timeless. Yeah, timeless. Timelessness is all over it. Yeah. And my brother Jing, so, so where you do, what, what are you looking at next? What you, where are you going from here? Well, I know I'll be putting out my project this October for sure. Mm -hmm. I've been promising my fans so for a while now. You're focusing on that playlist. You're, yes. You're zeroing in on it. Zeroing on the playlist, you know. Yes. This is the first single, you know, a feature in Popcorn. And you know, I have other features on it too, you know. Mm -hmm. Can't say it is on stage, you know. I feature Chronics, my first official oh, song wow. with Chronics is on Same. that project. And you know, my first official song with Sizzla Kalonji will be on that project. Okay. Yeah, and We Pray is my production. 
you know, and that's 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 something. As I say, it's a personal song for me. Yes. Likewise, the one with Chronics. And you actually playing the piano in this? Yes, I actually played build the rhythm, ah. and, and and the drums was played by Keely Keys. Same. Yeah, man, big musician, big up Keely Keys. All right, we'll put yeah, a man. proposition to you then, Dre, because we would like to have you live right here on our stage with you know, sort of sampling some of those projects. I just some tell, of the, I just, the tracks from the, I the just project. tell, tell your, your son that the next okay. time I'll be on, on stage right here with a grand piano, of uh, someone playing a violin, acoustic guitar, two perks, rocking on stage. That would be great, project project. No we'd, rise. we'd welcome that anytime. Yes, and the name of the project is Now I Rise. Now I Rise. Yes. Look out for that project. Now I rise. That's the fire. Baby steps. The man has risen. <laughs> he has risen. We are Stay with us. The Beast. Marvin the Dancehall Beast will be here to answer questions uh, that you're asking. Here we go. Hear that. Hear that. screens around the world every week on stage so much more than entertainment so what would make a father post a pornographic video of himself in social media that's what some are accusing Marvin the beast dancer of doing beast is on our set right now to answer to address that question B, sir. Yes, Welcome. Sorry for your sex, sir. Well, my first question <laughs> has got to be, how did this video get into social media? Well, actually, it's a video when I was, my mom, wife, so-called wife, she lived in, in the state before me actually live in the state. Yes. So when you live in Jamaica, she live in the state. I was sending a video, you know every man do that. Mm -hmm. Send them, them, them woman once you have a long distance relationship. I wish every woman do the same thing. Okay. So actually I was, take, I was take, making a video of myself, send it to her. Because of my relationship now, my new relationship with me and Nikisha, she actually still in her jealous mood and her, you know? So she just feel like said, she want to expose me. You understand? Oh. So what? You have people, because I am an entertainer, people have it, maybe think it's I put out the video. But it was basically it was my wife. She was the one exposing me. Your wife or ex-wife? Um, not ex I we're not actually divorced. It's not official yet. Yeah, but. Okay, so she put it out because of the relationship, your new relationship. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're accusing her of being jealous. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so what damage has it done to your brand, your your, your reputation, what, what damage, what fault, what's the, the extent of the fallout from it? It does nothing to me, you know. It's just people with them crazy mind, you know, them have crazy thoughts in it because him is a dancer and him dance with female and go on with all kind of thing. He may be a try for sure. And next side of him, we should have other male out there with think crazy. You have crazy people out there, you know. I don't want to call it actually name because you know we can't really say the name up on the ear. But them the type of man there, who they take it to a different level. Mm. You understand me? And I wish, I don't understand why a man I watch a naked man. Mm. That's the reason, because in my power, me will never ever watch a man naked in a video. It must, a female gotta watch that and some of the man them hear about it, say the female them talk about, watch a man in a video, naked with him, rare, rare, rare part out. And yeah. every man interested for watching it, which most of them bashing me. Like me, I sent out a gear video. This is not a gear video, it was with me and a man. It was a video where I actually sent to a woman. So we don't understand why some man take it the wrong way. Your daughter, how old is she? How old is she? Oh, she's actually 11 now. 11? Mm -hmm. So that's the mom, her mom, who put, who no, put out the video? No, no, no. No, no it's no. A, previous, a previous relationship. Yeah, no, actually it was in the same period of time because the wife was crazy as, oh, she's crazy now. As well, Jamaican, that's such a bad. <laughs> so, you know, you have to go, go do your own thing. You have to just love the bad people then to do them thing. Yeah. Okay, so she was bad and you bad too? 
Well, sometimes, you know, entertainer-wise, you know, at times we're bad, but, you know, I'm a good, 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 good boy, you know. Okay. Nikisha, calm the beast. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so the fallout is mostly then, you were saying, uh, is mostly the people in social media yeah. um, accusing you of being gay. Yeah, or like that you are trying like to trying to expose to yourself. expose your your male part to to, to win. everybody, everybody basically. But are you listen. embarrassed by it? Wish, as I'm say, I cannot be embarrassed because if a, a female expose a video of you out there, basically, if me as a man, if me here say a man in a in a in a naked video, mm -hmm. wish. You have to hear details like, oh, the man in a naked video with him this and him that out. So basically, me now go watch it. So why can I be embarrassed? And on this female alone, me think, so you supposed to look at it. So has she, your wife, admitted that she was the one who did it? Because at first, I was saying maybe she lose her phone or something. That's why the video went out. That's what her but, explanation is that? That's no, her explanation? I was, I was actually saying that. Okay. But when me actually call her and ask her, what well, go on with the video, wait, wait, wait. she start mm -hmm. act up because she constantly texting me the other day, I text me, I text me, I text me, and Nikisha actually see the text. Then I come to and I say, yo, why don't you leave him alone? He said, the man move on with him life, and you move on with your life, leave the man alone, right? So Nikisha, Actually, in the text, you write him, say, oh, I am actually three months pregnant right now. Mm -hmm. So that was the problem. Then now she started to act crazy. I don't know, maybe she get mentally ill or something. So that was the problem. Over the started pregnancy? All of, Over yes. the announcement of a, yeah. of a new... Which she was uh, just saying it. She's not, she not actually pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this a... Yeah, it was just like... Oh, my <laughs> goodness. So you scared the lady? <laughs> not you me. Nikisha, Nikisha text her. Not me. <laughs> Scared her. You know, so Nikisha's in the studio. Could we bring her on right here? Yeah. Let's bring her into this conversation. Nikisha, come in. Because, hi, welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, you, seem, you seem to be in great spirit. Yes, I am. In, 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 in the middle of all of this. Yes. So you find it funny, the whole thing? You were actually giggling <laughs> over there a while ago. So is it funny for you? Not really, but the way she was reacting when I send her the text mm. makes it funny, yes. Are you embarrassed about this video being out there? People looking at mm, no. your man like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in a win for it because every man do that. Every man send out video. And the first time I saw that video, I know it was an old video because in the video, as you can see, his hair as in a greenish color like. Mm -hmm. And we weren't together at that time, so I wasn't embarrassed. Okay, so I'm just concerned about the daughter, who is now 11, how she feels about her father being out there like that, and what has she said? Actually, she, she doesn't see the she video, see the and video. that's the, that's the, sure that's the that? good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the, mod, the mother tried for it. See if she see it. That's a good thing. I'm, I'm so it's so don't know, right? It's off, know it's, off the social, it's off social media now? Well, I wouldn't know. We, we actually make um, some report about it. Mm, to Facebook? Like a report, where, where yeah, was Facebook it? Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. So I hopefully it off so my daughter and I get the seat or whatever, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's all good now. And your fans, how do they feel about it? What has it done to your brand now, the Beast brand? Well, it, enough people, it, enough, so, enough some of them think I will grow a brand, you know. <laughs> that's why some people say you do it. So exactly. Yeah, is, is, that's is, what I'm are saying. Are you getting yeah, more? Yeah, true. Well, hey. actually, most of the you know, grown fans, fans them, they're embarrassed about it because they the don't want to see that. The grown fans. Yeah, my grown fans, because you know, we got different ages of fans. And yeah, they, they, have, they have, don't like it. Yeah, they do not, because they, they don't like exposing my body part, whatever, whatever. Yes, so yes, yes. so the, the, was, the whole thing was a question. Like a, a lot of call, a lot of texts. Mm -hmm. I get like everybody questioning me, what, 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 what's up with this video? What go on video, video? So soon as I explain myself, I'm going to actually go Instagram live. I'm going to explain to everybody. I make everybody know what's up overall. So do you regret having done and posted and sent to your wife that picture? Well, no, I regret because as a as a, a person like me, where is a a man who out there who's 
actually a public figure. Yes. I never expect that from her. Because regardless of what you have to show respect. And this and video was done before you were a public figure? No, actually I was yeah. yeah you were I was a dancer, you but were a maybe dancer not this, out this, there this already. Big, yeah. Yeah. But, but isn't that a lesson for all people who are tech uh, what do you call it? Sexting. Yeah. Sexting, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> that you don't send out these things. On the internet, but you, these things cannot stop in our info. Because Even you have it's man, to your wife you have man, and your loved one, wife, loved one. You understand me? This is what happened overall, everywhere in the world, constantly, every day. You understand? Like me? It's just, the, it's just <laughs> the worst. The wicked part of it mm. is just she exposed me. You understand? <laughs> Nikisha, your you your views on that? I mean, because this is now a wake up call, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, so would that not be somewhat curtailed or stopped? Uh, well, you're, a no, I, you're a celebrity yourself. <laughs> you're a celebrity. Yeah, but my, my thing is, Mr. Winford, mm -hmm. you know, when me, me, me and Nikisha and no problem, she release no more video them. So guess what? Delete my video them now. That's what me okay. need to do. So she, she has videos. <laughs> Nikisha has videos right now. Remember, remember, remember me, 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 me is a beast. You know? yeah. I'm for the ladies. So okay. I always uh, give them what they need. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So it's oh, just my job. So, it's a Nikisha. Wouldn't you want him to curtail that? I don't want it anymore because I wouldn't like to see any more video out there of his ex-girlfriend or whatever, mm. you know? Surfacing, yes. Yes, so I don't want to see it surfacing all over the social media. I don't want that to happen again because it's not a good look. But as you were saying, people in their relationship, they're going to always send videos like that, mm. especially long-distance relationship. Okay. Yeah. Because to tell you the truth, I send him videos. Mm -hmm. Well, you know the main thing about all of this, Mr. Winford, what bothers me, 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 me watch the video because somebody sent it to me. The video the one side I play mm -hmm. with me being naked and the man there so talk all kind of things. Him like oh, him like this and, and, him like this and him like this and him like this and him like so that. Who is it that the and, case but, that? But not, not even that, Winford. Zin, because in my saying, him have to be gay for doing that. But mm -hmm. what me I said, Winford, you have other set of people comment, comment on, on, the, on the video. Mm -hmm. Saying they laughing out loud, smiling face, laughing face, man and woman. What kind of people them be? These people don't know. Real, at the end of the day, this is Jamaica and this is a homophobic country. Actually, I'm an American resident. I'm not even in, in America. Winford is actually I'm living. It come, it's, right now, it's like I'm living in Jamaica with my partner plus my job. My half a day or so to do the groundwork. Mm. You understand me? So everybody know what I do. You know, say, I have some me there. And now this me I do. So if I'm doing something else, you know what I am doing. So why you try to bend up straight people mm -hmm. when the people that will bend up them now and bend them up? They my friend them because them love likes. Mm -hmm. You understand me, Winford? That's why I mean, I don't need friend or company. Notice my video man is my brother, my smaller brother. And my next partner is my, my, my actually so-called wife going to be soon. Wife to be? Yeah. OK. <laughs> you understand me, I'm my boss. So, okay, so uh, enough said on that. Um, we hope that the video, this will be controlled yeah. and the damage is mini minimal and that will never get to your daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's... Okay, so, but, but career update, what's going on with your career, Nikki? My career is going on very well. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of shows. Basically, we have been doing a lot of shows overseas mm -hmm. and we have a lot of shows coming up. Yes. Your name is you know, one big song I, I play all over the studio earlier. Is it you? The, yes, uh, it's yeah, we, we bought. <laughs> you M and N. Yeah. <laughs> and a bad show. Yeah, yes, song yes. represent for you because whenever people see a band set, Mr. Yeah, Winford ever clean and, clean and fresh. <laughs> right? Okay, really? I, I, see that? I am. See <laughs> <laughs> that? Yeah. Anyway, so. And the song is a, is a song where for everybody out there who are real, because mm -hmm. cleanness is a part of realness. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to be clean for sure say you're real. So because you, you own, know a lot of fake people the out there. Yeah, we, we bought we bought on the song. And the, the full owner. Yeah, yeah. Owner, farmer, writer. No, no, we write by by one of my close 
real, real, as I say, real, real friend. Mm. Kaleido, you know Kaleido. Kaleido. Yeah, Kaleido. Mm. yeah the, one of the best writers in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm actually write it for you and he said, brother, sister, me I give you the song yeah, but take out. So where the video that? The video oh, the video is about to shoot very soon. Here's what we could do. Um, we're gonna go to we're gonna close the show. Yeah. And then you guys do a little dance too. All right, so, no problem. <laughs> because we need visuals for it. So that's our show for this week, Winford Williams. On behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage and leaving you with a piece of Clean and fresh. Beast at the beast at it. Mood. Jealousy. Mm -hmm. It's a work. We have a clean and fresh. We have a clean and fresh. Life is built out. Eminem. The beast on the key shop. Oh, yeah. We have a clean and fresh. We have a clean and fresh. If you like that video, for more, click and be on our stage always.